During a restoration job, two brothers discover an ancient abandoned barn and sense a new adventure ahead. However, they scream when they see this as they draw back the barn doors. To last, Jimmy and Marcus arrive to the barn. They were unaware of its existence until a few weeks ago, when they thoroughly examined the property's designs and had a look at the outbuilding. However, their search for it was fruitless, leading Jimmy to question whether the barn had been destroyed. It would be about 200 years old today, after all. However, after endless searching, they were able to catch a glimpse of what they had been after. Marcus had to climb a ladder to see the barn roof since the natural elements had buried it behind a dense covering of ivy and brambles over time. Even though they were positive there wouldn't be anything inside, there was a certain thrill associated with actually opening the barn. The two brothers waved their hands in front of their faces and coughed as they eased the doors back, sending dust and dried filth flying up into the air. They were struck by the scent of dried leaves and ancient wood. They were grateful the scent wasn't stronger, though, considering they were opening a 200-year-old barn. The two brothers opened their eyes as the dust cleared, but they staggered back in horror as soon as they had done so. Marcus gasped, and Jamie screamed like a little child with excitement. For him, this was his dream come true. Since he could remember, Jamie had desired an ancient house. When he was younger, his parents used to take him and his brother Marcus on holidays around the nation, and he would always get attracted by the historic homes they would pass. Ever fascinated by history, he found great fascination in the events that took place in these mansions. As he grew older, his goal was to restore one of these historic houses to its previous splendor while discovering as much as possible about its history. Marcus found his sibling to be strange. When you could have a wonderful, bright, contemporary apartment, why in the world would someone want to take an old property and invest money in it? When Marcus and other acquaintances of Jamie's moved into their own homes, Jamie noticed that all of their spaces had the same contemporary furniture, uncluttered interiors, and simple architectural styles. Nothing was left with personality. Years later, there would be no tale to tell. He was prepared to wait as long as it needed to find the ideal home since he wanted a location with character and history. Fortunately, the reward for his patience was on the way. A stunning house had recently been listed for sale. It was promising and about 200 years old. The house had been vacant for a while, which was the issue. Although it had been in the same family for many years, no one had ever shown a desire to live there, most likely choosing to live in a more contemporary house. Yes, certainly, Jimmy thought to himself. Their loss was his gain. It had been abandoned for so long that it was falling apart. However, Jimmy found this to be melodious. He had been dreaming about this project for years, a chance to restore such a rich history and restore the house to its previous splendor. This was the one Marcus only smiled when Jimmy called his brother, full of excitement, to tell him he had discovered his ideal house. Though he was thrilled for his brother, he would never understand his infatuation with antique mansions. He consented to attend the property showing the following day as he understood how important this was to his younger brother. Jimmy and the estate agent were waiting for him as he drew up to the house. Marcus cast a quick glance up at the impressive estate. It was undeniable that the house had once been exquisite, but restoring its beauty would undoubtedly need a great deal of labor. But if anyone was capable of doing it, it was his younger brother. However, nothing would get the two brothers ready for what was inside the house. It was immediately apparent why the home had such a low asking price when the estate agent opened the door. Marcus immediately understood why there hadn't been many pictures of the inside available online. Everything would have to be replaced, including the floors, wiring, and plastering. Marcus saw the expression on his brother's face and was ready to suggest that perhaps this wasn't such a good idea. Jimmy was enthralled, and Marcus lacked the courage to bust Jimmy's bubble. Because of his handiwork, his younger brother was able to earn a nice living by remodeling other people's homes. However, Marcus was clueless about how his brother would manage to juggle a project this magnitude on top of his work. Jaime's excitement appeared to increase with each area they entered, but Marcus's concern also seemed to mount. The entire home was devoid of any habitable rooms. Although it appeared to be a jungle outdoors, Jaime had this desire, and Marcus was willing to help him achieve it no matter what. 
Jimmy made an offer right then and there, and Marcus was not at all shocked to hear he'd been the first fool foolish enough to do so in decades. Jamie broke the good news to his brother a few days later. The house was now his. Marcus could sense his younger brother's eagerness in his voice. And before he knew it, he had offered to assist with the remodeling. Marcus smiled the moment he put down the phone. It was obvious that Jamie's excitement had spread, as he had now offered to help with the largest house restoration project he had ever been a part of. Though it appeared that he would have plenty on his plate, the brothers had underestimated the extent of the house's potential. They were seized with a fresh spirit of adventure as Marcus noticed a barn roof from his ladder. Jimmy had been eager to locate it ever since he saw it on the original home blueprints. However, despite searching the garden for weeks, they had not discovered anything like a barn. Presuming it had been pushed down or fell at some time in the past two centuries, he had given up trying to find it. But the location of the roof Marcus had made out through the undergrowth matched the map's location of the barn. In the end, it was still there. Marcus couldn't suppress his enthusiasm when he informed Jimmy what he'd observed. Even though he was quite certain there wouldn't be anything inside the barn anymore, the fact that it was a previously unexplored portion of the land added intrigue to the endeavor. The barn had been abandoned for a long time, and the brambles and ivy were heavier than the two brothers had anticipated. Despite this, they immediately began to work cleaning the vegetation. To clear it all would take days. The summer warmth made the labor feel even more difficult, but as they removed more vegetation, their joy increased. The two brothers were grown men, but the finding of the barn had brought back memories of their childhood pretend games and sparked a sense of childish awe in them. They kidded each other that they may discover gold, an old automobile, or mountains of cash within. A mound of dust and a few leaves would probably be the most fascinating item they found, so they chuckled at their foolishness. When they arrived at the barn, there was no way of knowing if it would even be secure enough to enter. It was finally possible to see the ancient abandoned barn after four days of non-stop labor. It seemed rather strong, though, as if the ivy and brambles had created a protective cage around it, shielding it from years of weather damage. Marcus turned to face his younger sibling. His enthusiasm was flowing outward from him. Although Marcus knew this would likely be the least exciting find of his life, he couldn't help but smile. Although the two brothers had always been close, their bond was strengthened by this effort. Though Jamie might be insane, Marcus was happy to be a part of this unforgettable adventure that neither of them would soon forget. The barn had two doors, yet it was not very large. It was probably going to be difficult for Jimmy to unlock the doors because he had no idea when it had been used. The two brothers prepared to pull back the doors by grabbing hold of a latch each. The barn appeared robust, but they had to use caution considering its antiquity. He was surprised to see how easily Jimmy's door's latch lifted, and he watched in dismay as Marcus effortlessly raised the lock on his side. When they finally opened the dilapidated abandoned barn, they were greeted with an amazing sight. The barn resembled an exquisitely kept historical relic. The old furniture was placed with care, and the desk was covered in piles of books and diaries. The few surfaces were covered in photographs, and there was an easel and painting equipment in one corner. Jimmy hadn't had time to thoroughly research the house's past since he was too busy finishing the renovations. He knew little more about it, except that it had been constructed in the 1830s. But entering the barn revealed more to him than anything he could have learned from ancient documents or history books. It was an instant captured in time that had been unaltered for over 200 years. The clothes in the pictures made it easy to determine that they were shot not long after the home was constructed. In one picture, a family was even seen standing triumphantly in front of the home that Yaimi had moved into. He turned to face his brother and realized why the house's original owner had decided to convert the barn into a makeshift studio. Reaching all the way down the garden and into the lake that lay just beyond the property, the view from the barn doors was just stunning. When Jimmy had purchased the house, he thought he had struck gold, but that was nothing in comparison to the barn. He could picture the kids in the pictures playing about the lawn and bickering over who would get which bedroom when they moved in, and their parents' need to soothe them. For its history, Jimmy had always desired an ancient house, 
but he had never anticipated that he would stumble across a barn that had been trapped in time. Restoring the house seemed even more vital all of a sudden. Jamie was disappointed that no one else had expressed interest in the property since the family had obviously loved it. Why had the happy-looking kids in the pictures opted to leave their family home? However, Jamie discovered all the information he required when he took a seat at the antique desk and perused the journals. The journals, which detailed the children's growing up and leaving home, seemed to have been written by the father and covered a number of years. Instead of finding a guy who was more depressed in his writing, Jaime discovered that the father was appreciative of what the house had provided them, a lovely, tranquil location for his kids to grow up and a beautiful setting where he could concentrate on his passion, painting. The guy was grateful that he had been able to provide his children with a house as magnificent as this, which seemed to be the place where he and his wife lived out the remainder of their lives. Instead of being upset that his children had left, the kids had relocated to the city and were only sometimes returned to see their ailing parents. Sadly, their own kids had not developed the same affection for the countryside. Their grandparents' ancient home did not have the contemporary amenities that they had become accustomed to since they were born in a metropolis. All the children had equally inherited the home once their parents had gone away, but none of them had ever lived there again. Both of their children had never ever heard of it, nor had they returned to see it. One hundred years after it had been purchased and constructed, a distant cousin had inherited it and decided it was already too old and run down to live in. Jamie was overcome with a sort of pleasant sadness. This family had held great significance for the home, but time had made it forget. However, as of late, not to mention, Jamie now had a ton of newfound motivation and a pile of images to work with. More pictures of the family at home were discovered by him as he searched through the desk drawers. He shuddered to think of how much the man had paid to have the pictures made, considering how novel photography was yet at the time. It demonstrated his level of pride in the house and his family, and Jaime believed it was his duty to repay the guy by creating a home he could be proud of. He'd be able to reconstruct the house precisely as it had been when it was initially constructed, thanks to the images. Marcus was stunned. Though he'd never understood Jaime's obsession with the past, he began to feel as though he might finally understand as he perused the old pictures. Unquestionably, the old abandoned barn had taken them by surprise, but it only served to corroborate what Marcus had always suspected. His brother was supposed to be the rightful owner of this house. The brothers worked tirelessly for several months to revitalize the residence. Working with historical images was really helpful and the house soon had its former beauty. The amount of work the two of them had accomplished while renovating the house even astounded Jimmy. He made an unsuccessful attempt to locate the family's former residence. He had a nagging sensation that they would not share his enthusiasm and enthusiasm for learning. Hanging some of the antique photos he'd discovered in the hallway gave the house the last touch. However, there was one area of the land Jimmy would not go near, the dilapidated barn. He intended the furnishings and arrangement to stay the same as they had for the previous 200 years. Therefore, he would take care of the barn to preserve it in good condition. However, he wouldn't alter a thing. He thought everything was already ideal the way it was. With the sun lowering over the lake, Jamie thanked the previous residents in silence as he took a seat at the counter. He hoped his renovation had made them proud, as he felt it was a strange turn of events that he had been the one to purchase the house. It's up to you now. If you had cracked open the ancient barn, how would you have felt? Are you as fascinated by historic houses as Jamie is? Please feel free to comment below with your comments. We'd love to hear them.